Hi friends welcome to our channel iFloaters update, for more updates on the same kindly hit the below subscribe button and like comment share with your friends. Let's start. Ayurvedic treatment for iFloaters. The term iFloaters is very common now. The number of patients seeking treatment for iFloaters is increasing gradually. What is an iFloater? It just means something that floats. The patient experiences small dark objects dots, webs, strings, thread, etc. in front of the eyes. It is not fixed, but moving. It darts away when the patient tries to focus on it. So, the name eye floaters. Simple eye floaters in a small level is harmless. It is seen in without any visual impairment or any other serious symptom, especially in senile people. But eye floaters are seen as a symptom in many other severe ophthalmic pathologies such as chiroretinopathy, macular edema, high myopia, retinal detachment, vitreous detachment, macular degeneration, etc. In hypertensive retinopathy and diabetic retinopathy also, patients may experience floaters. So, a differential diagnosis becomes absolutely necessary to proceed with treatment. If analyzed on the basis of Ayurvedic principles, vata has a predominant role in pathology. So, to normalize the function of vata is the main aim of treatment. When coming to the treatment aspect, the disease is to be considered as two groups. 1. Simple harmless eye floaters. 2. Floaters associated with other ocular pathologies. The first group is comparatively easy to treat. Here, the treatment is focused on normalizing the functions of vata, siradhara, siroibhyanga, netrotharpanam, etc. With selective medicines are the treatment procedures. Internal medicines are also necessary. In the second group, treatment is to be done very carefully. The treatment cannot be focused simply on eye floaters. The ocular pathology which leads to floaters is more important. So, the treatment may vary from one person to another. According to the clinical condition, existing ocular pathology and other systemic diseases, if any. Eye floaters Ayurvedic treatment. In Evida, the concept of Chakshashudravya, foods beneficial for eye slash vision, and therapeutic procedures is present which improves or enhances visual acuity, vision, nasya karma, nasal infusion, and tarpana, oleation slash administration of herbal oils, or ghee, and jhana, calerium, are among the procedures recommended. Point two. The following aha, or diet, and vaiha, or lifestyle, are recommended for all kinds of eye diseases. Diet recommendations, aha. Foods that should be included in the diet every day are ghee, milk, rock salt, honey, patola, snake gourd, red rice, green gram, wheat, trifala, three fruits, carrots and leafy veggetables3. Avoid foods such as sour f, ooze, dry meat, alcohols, selected sea fishes, curd, tobacco, excessive hot and fatty foods3. Lifestyle changes, via Walk regularly. Personal hygiene especially avoiding personal contact with those infected should be practiced. Wear headgear such as caps and hats and eye gear such as sunglasses to protect from UV radiations. Make sure you get good sleep regularly. Make it a habit to wake up early. Massaging ghee on soles is said to be beneficial for general health of eyes in Avida.